Hi everyone, this is Brianne with Time to Pet. In this video, we'll review how tipping works in Time to Pet, including how to enable and disable automatic tips on a client profile, how to add and edit tips on client invoices, how clients can add and pay for tips, dispersing and paying tips to staff, viewing staff tip balances and disbursement logs, and how to view tips as staff. To jump to a specific section of this video, hover over the progress bar and click on the section you want to view. Let's get started. In Time to Pet, you can enable an automatic tip for any client. After adding an automatic tip to a client account, all new invoices created for the client will include the automatic tip. To enable or disable an automatic tip for a client, navigate to the client profile, Open the Services and Invoices tab and click this button to edit the auto tip. The auto tip can be a flat dollar amount or it can be percentage based. Click the blue floppy disk button to save. To remove an auto tip, simply edit it again. and change it to 0% or $0. It's important to note that any invoices that were created prior to enabling an automatic tip will not be affected by the new automatic tip. Only invoices created after enabling the auto tip will have a tip added automatically. If you would like to update any pre-existing invoices to include a tip, you can add it to the invoice manually, which we will cover in the next section. To add a tip to an invoice, start by opening the Edit Invoice screen. The Edit Invoice screen can be opened by clicking the Invoice number or the Edit button on an invoice in various places within Time to Pet. For this video, we'll start in the Client's Profile under the Services and Invoices tab and click Edit on the invoice we want to add a tip to. In the lower left corner, there's an Add Tip button. Click this to add a tip. You can set a custom amount, or you can click one of the pre-calculated percentage-based tips once the desired tip is entered, click Save Tip to add the tip to the invoice. You can then see the tip on the invoice. You'll also notice that the Add Tip button now says Edit Tip. If you need to edit or remove the tip, click this button and change the amount of the tip, or set it to zero to remove it. It's important to note that tips that have already been dispersed to staff cannot be edited or removed. If you try to edit or remove a tip that has already been dispersed, you'll see this warning at the top of the Edit Tip window and you won't be able to make any changes. To edit or remove a tip that has been dispersed, you'll need to undo the disbursement, which we'll review in a later part of this video. In Time to Pet, admins and office managers with the correct invoicing permissions can add tips to any invoice at any time. You can, however, decide whether or not you want to give your clients the ability to add and pay for tips from the client portal or app. To do this, navigate to Settings, Client Settings, Portal Settings, and scroll down to the Invoicing section. Here you can set the Allow Tipping in Portal to Yes if you want clients to be able to leave tips, or No if you don't want them to be able to leave tips. Then save your changes. If your portal settings allow clients to add tips, they'll be able to add tips to any invoice visible to them in their client portal or app, even if the invoice has already been paid. To add a tip to an open, not yet paid invoice, they'll open the Invoices section and click Make a Payment. Here they'll have a blue button that says Add Tip. They can select one of the pre-calculated percentage-based amounts, or they can set a custom tip. 
To finalize the tip, they will then proceed to make a payment. To add a tip to a paid invoice, they can open the Paid Invoices tab, locate the invoice they want to add a tip to, and click the Add Tip button. Again, they will have the option to choose a 10, 15, 18, 20% tip, or they can enter a custom amount. And then they will proceed with payment. In this next section, we'll review how to disperse tips to staff. Before we get started though, it's important to understand a few things. To start, Time to Pet does not pay your staff directly. The tools described in this video are meant to help you calculate how much to pay your staff outside of Time to Pet. The actual money that clients pay in tips is deposited to your connected payout account along with your other client payments. We do not hold on to any tip money. The process of dispersing tips and paying tips out on pay stubs is for record keeping and calculation purposes only. Another thing to know is that once dispersed, tips are no longer tied to individual dates, events, or clients. It's a common misconception that when generating pay stubs, the tips added to the pay stub are for the pay period you entered. What actually happens is that when tips are dispersed, they are added to a staff member's tip balance, or tip jar, so to speak. Tips will accumulate in this tip jar until they are paid out on a pay stub. The pay period dates you enter when generating pay stubs are irrelevant when it comes to tips. To get started, navigate to staff or users if you use independent contractors, pay center, tips. Find the tip you want to disperse and click the disperse button. A new window will appear that automatically lists the staff members assigned to the events on the invoice the tip came from, and the tip is automatically distributed among those staff members according to the percentage of revenue that each assigned event made up of the invoice total. You can manually adjust the distribution if you'd like. And if part of the tip should go to a different staff member that's not listed, you can add them by finding their name in the drop-down menu and clicking Include Staff. And then distribute part of the tip to them as well. Once you have the tip distributed the way you'd like, click Save and Disperse. That tip then moves from the non-dispersed tip section to the dispersed tip section, and the distributed tips are added to each staff member's tip balance. Instead of dispersing tips one by one, you can use the Bulk Disperse tool to disperse multiple tips at one time. Start by clicking Bulk Disperse. A new screen will open listing all of the non-dispersed tips. Similar to dispersing individual tips, each tip is automatically distributed to the assigned staff members according to the revenue percentage that each event made up of the invoice total. You can change the amount to disperse to each staff member, and you can click Skip This Tip if there's a tip you don't want to disperse. When you're ready, click the Disperse Tips button and confirm. If you dispersed a tip that you later realized was incorrectly dispersed, you can undo the disbursement. Undoing a tip disbursement will remove it from all of the staff member tip balances that it was dispersed into and will revert it back to a non-dispersed tip. To undo a tip disbursement, Navigate to Staff, Pay Center, Tips, then scroll down to the Dispersed Tip section. Find the tip that you want to undisperse 
and click the show button on that line. That will pull up a window to show how the tip was distributed and a button to undo the tip disbursement. Confirm that you want to undo it. Once confirmed, this will remove those tips from the designated staff member's tip balances and it moves the tip back to the non-dispersed tip section. To see a history of tips dispersed to a staff member as well as their current tip balance, navigate to the staff member's profile and click the tip balance tag below their name. Here you will see the date and time that a tip was dispersed, how much was dispersed, and the client invoice that it came from. To the right of each line is a running balance that shows what the tip balance was after each transaction. The current tip balance is located in the top left corner of the list. This is the amount that's currently in the staff member's tip jar that has not yet been paid out on a pay stub. By default, this is the amount that will be added to the next pay stub that's generated. Once a tip has been dispersed, it's added to the staff member's tip balance where it will stay until it is paid out on a pay stub. It's important to remember that tips are not tied to specific events or dates, so the next time you generate a pay stub, the staff member's entire tip balance will be added to the pay stub, regardless of the pay period date range you've entered. For example, let's look at the tip balance for Read a Book. We can see here that she's recently had two tips dispersed from these two client invoices. If we open each invoice, we can see that the events for this one took place between July 2nd and July 8th. And the events on this one took place between July 16th and July 22nd. Her total tip balance from these two tip disbursements is $294, and it's waiting here to be paid out on a pay stub. To generate a pay stub for Rita, we'll go to the pay stub tab of her staff profile and click the generate pay stub button. The pay period we need to pay her for is July 21st through August 3rd. Note that this date range only has two days in common with the dates on the client invoices we looked at earlier. In step two of generating the pay stub, we see that the entire tip balance of $294 has been added by default. This amount can be edited to include less than $294 if needed, and anything that's not paid out would be left in Rita's tip balance. But in most cases, you shouldn't need to edit this. When we're ready, we'll finalize the pay stub and return to Rita's tip balance sheet. Here we can see that the $294 was paid out on the pay stub, bringing Rita's tip balance back down to $0. Once tips have been dispersed to a staff member, they can view who left them a tip and how much by navigating to My Pay Tips where each tip disbursement will be listed. They can also see who tipped them from the mobile app by clicking the menu icon in the top left corner, My Pay, Tips. Thank you so much for watching. We really hope that this helps you manage your tipping and time to pet. If you have any additional questions or need additional support, please reach out to us at support at timetopet.com.